what is going on guys? So a couple days ago, it was actually Monday night, today is Friday. I was sitting at home and I'm like, you know what, I think I'm gonna buy a new rod today. Not sure why, but I just had that kind of feeling and I went out and I ordered myself the, uh, the St. Croix Panfish Series. So this is a rod that I was looking at uh, a couple months ago at purchasing and really it didn't catch my eye too much when I went with the Legend Elite Panfish. But over the last couple months, I got really, really curious to see how this rod performs and what it's actually like. So I got it. It retails for about $110, at least this model does. This is the five foot uh, ultralight moderate action or ultralight power moderate action. Uh, I did some financial accounting tricks and I ended up only paying $40 for it, which isn't too bad. So I figured for $40 out of pocket, uh, I could take a chance on this thing. So. Today we're going to take a look at it right now, first impressions, and then we're going to get on the water and fish it. So starting here at the butt section, I really, really do like this handle. It's a little small, but it's super comfortable to hold on to. And this little section here, it's a little bit fatter than on most other uh, rods. However, just kind of holding it at home, it feels extremely, extremely comfortable. It's a Sea Guide reel seat. Uh, it does have threads here on the bottom, which I am not a fan of. However, they're so small and really they don't, I don't think they're gonna grind into my palm at all. So it should be fairly comfortable to hold. Very easy to palm. Like it's a, just a very, very small rod. So that's super comfortable. If we look at the blank itself, this is a kind of an interesting uh, blank material. It's a composite. So the bottom section here is St. Croix's SC6 graphite, which is their super, super high end. And then as you get here toward the tip, it is their SC2. So really what this kind of looks like it does is the bottom section here is extremely stiff, has a good amount of backbone to it, but as you get toward the top here, very, very soft, very, very flexible. Now, like I mentioned, it's a moderate action, uh, so that just means the bend should be kind of more toward the middle of the rod, which it kind of is. The it starts to bend about here, which is a good foot and a half from the top. Um, if you look at the guides themselves, they're rather minimalistic. Uh, again, Sea Guide guides, Sea Guide brand guides. They're stainless steel with stainless steel inserts, which I'm not sure how I feel about. Uh, the biggest kind of issue I see with this rod is that there's just no, nothing in this rod that tells me it should be a $110 rod besides for the little sticker right there that says St. Croix. Uh, the blank material isn't too expensive. Their SC6 is, but their SC2 is not. Uh, the real seat, cheap. Most real seats are pretty cheap. Uh, the guide's really, really cheap. I mean, they're not even aluminum oxide. They're stainless steel. I mean, definitely not titanium torzide or anything like that. But just everything about this rod says that it should be a rather cheap rod besides for the name. But you get a five-year warranty with it, which is pretty good. And like I said, for $40 out of pocket, I figured I'd take a chance on it. I think even full retail, $110, it might be a pretty good deal. I am going to pair this up with a size 1000 Diawilla Gallus. And when I looked at this at home, it balanced the rod really, really well. So if I screw this on, if you take a look at it, like literally, I mean, you cannot get a better center of gravity than that. On a lot of the rods that I fish, the center of gravity is more like up here, but this is basically right at the handle. So it should be very, very comfortable to hold because all the weight is just pulling straight down. It's not tip heavy, not butt heavy, just right there where you're going to be holding it. So the plan for the day is going to be to fish a couple different uh, lure weights, lure sizes, and techniques on this thing. Uh, like I mentioned, it is a moderate action, which usually isn't very good for uh, jigging. I think if I fish some smaller jig heads, it should be okay. Uh, it's very noodly in the top. However, when I was kind of just testing it, it recovers very fast. So a lot of very noodly rods, they take forever to kind of wobble and recover back to a stationary position. This one recovers pretty quickly. So I think with some smaller jig heads, it should be pretty good for jigging. Uh, it is rated for between two and six pounds. I have some four pound fluorocarbon on here. And this is the interesting part. It's an ultralight, but it's rated for between 1 16th and 1 quarter ounce, which is a little bit heavier than a lot of really other ultralights that I've ever fished. 1 16th, I think is pretty heavy for an ultralight power rod. Uh, we'll probably fish some things a little bit smaller than that and maybe some things within that range, but I'm excited to test this thing out and see how it goes. So let's give it a shot.
All right, here's the first lure we're gonna be going with. It is a 1 64th ounce trout magnet. So way, way, way smaller than what this rod is designed for, even though this is a very ultralight rod, ultralight presentation. Cast perfectly, just like any other ultralight I had. Slow retrieve. We'll give this thing a little twi couple twitches off the bottom here. On the first cast so far, I think the action of this rod is pretty good, at least with this little small jig head. Nice, it's a moderate action, but with the small jig head, it's a fairly fast action tip because there's not enough weight to actually put any real bend in this rod. So I was worried about this since it is rated only at the bottom level for a 1 16th, but I think it fishes this 1 64th ounce jig head perfectly. So now all we need is a fish to bite this. Here we go, fish on. First fish on this new rod. Felt the hit really well. Oh, decent size, little copper nose bluegill. Put a nice little bend in this thing. Let's get him on up here. All right, we got one beautiful bluegill on the trout magnet. Felt that hit really, really well. When he first hit, I thought he was a lot bigger than the size, just because the sensitivity of this rod is a lot better than the rods I've been fishing recently. So, nice start. We got our first fish on the new rod. Well, let's get this guy back. All right, so we got one on the trout magnet. Let's make a few more casts with this thing. There we go, fish on. That didn't take long, first cast right after this. What is this? What is that? Oh, another nice bluegill. Beautiful fish. Back-to-back -back casts. Let's get him on up here. All right, back-to-back -back casts. We got ourselves another nice bluegill. I mean, this rod is a lot more sensitive than what I was expecting because these guys, they, they fight so well. The rods I was using the last several chips here, they're, they're not up to this quality, but I didn't think they were that poor compared to this rod. So really happy with this rod so far. We got two fish. Let's get this guy back. All right, so I caught those two guys. I'm back to back cast with the trout magnet. So 164th ounce. I thought it was gonna be a little bit too small for this, at least based on the rating. Uh, but it casts this little jig head really, really well. It jigs it really, really well. I have absolutely no complaints. And to be completely honest, I think this might be my new favorite rod for these size lures. I have the Legend Elite Panfish from St. Croix, also an ultralight, but that rod is a lot stiffer and a lot stronger a lot more powerful it, it can't cast these lures this far and it can't work them this easily back so the more expensive rod at least with the trout magnet doesn't produce as well there's another fish little guy oh he's off all right we'll make a few more casts with this and then we'll switch lures And here's the next lure we're going to be going with. So it's a 1 32nd ounce jig head. So twice the, the weight of the last one. However, it is still lighter than what this rod is designed for. Uh, it's supposed to be 1 16th to 1 quarter. So still lighter. Same kind of fishing style, same fishing technique that we just used. Just a little bit heavier jig head. And so far, I think it, I think it still works pretty well. The moderate... Oh, there's a fish. There's, there was a fish. So the moderate action on the tip, while I get this little algae off, the moderate action of this rod, if these lures were heavier, you wouldn't be able to jig them. But they're so light that even though this is a moderate action, it's only the very tip of the lure, or sorry, the tip of the rod. Oh, that's another bite. It's only the tip of the rod that's kind of bending under the weight of these tiny lures, and you're able to jig these perfectly. So. Had two bites here on my first two casts with this. Let's try to get one to get hooked. Here we go, fish on. 
Feels like it, oh, that one's bigger. That one is bigger. Let's see how this rod holds up against a bigger fish. All right, it's not pulling anymore. Is he down in some weeds or some algae? I hate when they do that. Let's see what kind of backbone this rod has. See that SC6 in the butt, is it the bass? No, I thought he was about to jump. Uh, this is gonna be a nice fish, whatever it is. Let's see if this rod can muscle him out of here. Oh, that's a nice fish. I think it's a Mayan. These guys, yeah, it is a Mayan. These guys always pull really well. Let's see if this thing has the backbone to get this guy in here. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go, nice Mayan. All right, beautiful Mayan cichlid. Not huge, but this is probably an average size Mayan, but these guys fight so hard. And that rod, I mean, it had to put in a lot of work. So I'll talk about that rod in a second, but nice Mayan. So we got three fish on the bank today. All right, so we got three fish on this rod so far, and I've got to say, it is very impressive. These little jig heads, the action is perfect for these guys. It's a moderate action, which really, it, should, it shouldn't be good for jigging. Moderate action, usually use that more for moving lures, like uh, little crankbaits, inline spinners, that sort of thing. But these light lures, this thing jigs it perfectly. It is a true ultralight power. So these little bluegills, that Mayan, you feel every little vibration, every little head shake. They put a great bend into this rod, but that last one, that was a very, very nice fight. The butt section does have a very good backbone to kind of muscle those larger panfish, or maybe even, even if you hook into like a bass or something, to muscle those larger fish in. So, so far I'm very impressed. Uh, let's keep fishing this little Ennis and Tara. Maybe we'll get one more, and then we'll switch lures into something else. Next cast right after that Mayan. This one doesn't feel as big. Saw some silver, is it a bluegill? Yeah, all this guy, so this guy's not even big, but he fights like he's so much bigger just cause this rod is so light. All right, so this bluegill isn't even big, bigger than my hand, but he's not a, a big fish. And that rod, the power is so light, this guy fights like he's way 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 bigger than his size so we got two on the ennis of terra i think we'll make another cast with it and then we'll switch over to a different lure there we go fish on what is it another bluegill again not a big size but they put a nice bend in this rod come on up here Right, so this is a respectable size female, but I mean, it's not a monster, but they just fight so well on this rod. So we'll get this guy back, and now we'll switch lures. This little Anisoptera on a 132nd ounce jig, he jig head pulled through. And our next lure, so this is a 1 16th ounce rooster tail inline spinner. Now this is more the weight that this lure, this rod is designed to throw, as well as the technique. So a cast may be a little bit better, about the same. I mean, this thing casted that 1 64th ounce and 1 32nd ounce perfectly. Now just a steady retrieve. I mean, this type of fishing, basically almost any rod can do, just cast and retrieve. You don't need a specific type of action, at least in my opinion. So, I mean, this rod is doing fine with it, but just cast and retrieve. And now let's hope a fish hits this. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That, that was a nice hit. I gotta tighten the drag up just a smidge here on this fish. I think that was a nice large mouth. I saw a quick glimpse of it. Now let's gain some ground. He's gonna jump. I think it's a, yeah, nope, nope. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. That's a nice fish. These guys, I mean, this, on this kind of a setup, this is so much fun. I mean, this isn't, this isn't even a huge bass, is it? 
Uh, Alright, over... Oh, I lost it. I lost it on the jump. Oh, man, that's a, that's a disappointment. So I lost a couple bass here today. But, I mean, on this kind of a setup, that kind of fishing is just... It's so much fun. That fish, it wasn't big. It was probably about a two-pounder or so. And, I mean, you saw this real purr and then the bend to put in this rod. This is a true ultralight, and I, I, I really love it. Here we go, fish on. Another one. I don't think it's a bass, probably a mine. He's fighting well, though. Oh, man, no, 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 not in the lily pads. That's the, no, I'm getting out of the pads. That's the one problem when you're old Chile fishing. If they get into some cover, you're in trouble. It's another nice pull. Can't see the fish yet. Yeah, it's, an, oh, it's a nice size mine. Bigger than the last one. Let's gain some ground on him. Nope. Come here, dude. He's down in the algae. Come here, dude. Nice size Mayan. Look at that guy. All right, this thing is an absolute tank. Nice size Mayan. Once again, a great fight on the ultralight. I am, I am having so much fun today with this rod because all of these fish, they, they fight like absolute monsters. And I mean, this is a very nice size fish, but still fight like they're two, three times the size on this ultralight. Here we go, fish on. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, he broke me off. So that is not the rod's fault. He hit right there like a train. I don't know what that was, probably mine. Took off for the pads, and I think that was probably a bad knot. So on that note, I guess we're gonna try a new lure. All right, I'm not sure how I feel about this. But this is a 1 8 ounce jerk bait from Euro Tackle. Now I would never throw this kind of lure on an ultralight rod. I would throw that probably more on like a medium light. But that is well within the range of what this rod is designed to throw. So I figured we'll test it out. So a little bit tougher to give this rod the kind of action that you wanted, to, or give this lure the kind of action that you wanted to, because it is a moderate tip. So it's gonna take a little bit more pressure and force from you to make that rod actually bend where you wanted to to make the lure react like you wanted to. Because if I just put a little bit of pressure on this, right, the rod bends a lot further down, the rod absorbs a lot of that twitching that I'm trying to put onto the lure. So definitely, at least for me, when I'm fishing jerk baits, I like to fish a fast action rod. But we'll fish this thing anyway. Hope you get a fish and hope you don't lose the lure. Here we go, fish on. Feels like another decent one. Another Mayan, a lot of red in the water. These guys always pull well. This fight is so much fun on this, this rod especially. Ultralight tackle to begin with, but this rod for some reason has nice sensitivity. These guys just feel so much bigger than they are. All right, not a big one, but we'll get this guy back and I'll be back with a quick wrap up. So that is going to do it. Absolutely great day on the water. Lots of action, caught a lot of fish. Unfortunately, probably lost just as many fish, but that's the way it goes sometimes. So let's talk about the, uh, the St. Croix Panfish Series rod here. Uh, when I do these kind of reviews, I like to start out with two questions. Number one is, do I like this rod? And that is an absolute yes. Uh, not only do I like this rod, but I think I love this rod. This is so far after one day, this is an amazing rod. And the second question, which is probably even a little bit more important, it would be, 
do I, would I buy this rod again? And that kind of means, do I think the rod is worth the price? And if you remember in the beginning, I said I paid $40 for this rod, even though it retails for $110. And not only would I pay $40 again, I would absolutely pay full retail value for this rod. I think it was worth $110 all day, every day. Now let's talk about the performance. Uh, number one, I think this is a true ultralight rod. Uh, if you watched all my other St. Croix review videos, I think a lot of the rods, which are all right here, I think just about all of them, uh, or at least the vast majority of them, they are rated strong. They're, the rods themselves are stronger than what they're rated for, at least in my opinion. So what I mean by that is, I think like the medium power Victory, medium power Mojo Bass, I think they're more like medium uh, heavy rods. The medium light rods, I think they're more like medium rods. And then, the uh, this rod here, the St. Croix Legend Elite Panfish, which is their high-end panfish rod, and honestly probably the highest uh, end panfish rod you can get in the U.S. This is a six-foot ultralight, but I think this fish is more like a light power rod. Now, if you watch that review, you'll remember at the end I said this is an amazing rod because it is. However, I don't think it is a great rod for smaller panfish. Like, I don't think it's a great bluegill rod. Uh, probably not a great like perch rod. I think it would be a very good crappie rod. Maybe if you consider white bass panfish, I think it would be a good white bass rod. Just the panfish that are just a little bit bigger than your standard bluegill, right? Just because it's rated as an ultralight, but I think it fishes a little bit stronger. And then those little bluegills, they're, they're just not fun to fight on that rod. The reason I like ultralight fishing is because it makes these little fish feel like monsters. And this rod absolutely does that with the panfish series, not the Legend Elite panfish. Today, all those bluegills, they, they were in small, but they were, you know, moderate sized bluegills. They fought like absolute beasts on this rod. Those mine cichlids put up amazing fights on this rod. I uh, hooked into a couple largemouths. Unfortunately, I lost them all. That one that I included in this video, uh, the really, really nice one, which wasn't even that nice, was about a two pounder. That thing fought like a five, six pound bass on this thing. That is why I like fishing ultralight. Makes it more of a challenge to catch, but it's absolutely much more enjoyable than just catching it on like a medium power rod where the fight is basically non-existent. So that is why I like ultralight fishing, and that is the main reason why I like this rod, because it is a true ultralight. You are going to feel every little head shake, every little vibration, every little pull those fish make, no matter the size. Even the smaller fish feel like monsters on this rod, and that's not something I could say for some of these other rods, especially the Legend Elite Panfish. Um, so, going off of that, let's talk about some of the lures. So this rod is rated for between 1 16th and 1 quarter ounce. I think that is a little bit too heavy, at least what I experienced today. But then again, what do I know? I'm just some guy in his bedroom, and the people that put this on the rod are professional rod makers. But the 1 64th ounce trout magnet, the 1 32nd ounce jig head that I threw with a Euro tackle and a Subterra, those things casted great. Those things, you were able to work the lure great. The, the tip in this rod, it's a moderate power, so it bends a little bit further down the blank than a fast action like the Legend Elite Panfish. But since those lures were so small, they didn't have enough weight to put that much stress on this rod where it's going to bend further down. It was still just the tip of the rod doing all the work, and I, I think it worked really, really well. Uh, you were able to give it every little bit of action that you could want this rod. Is a little bit noodly, right? A little bit wobbly, but again, such a small weight where it doesn't wobble that much because the, the weight of the lure just doesn't put that much stress onto the tip of this rod. So it recovered very, very fast with those small lures. Um, so I think this is a perfect rod for small lures. One sixteenth ounce. I haven't tried that on a jig head. Uh, what one eighth ounce and one quarter ounce? I think that just, that would be just way too heavy to jig this effectively. I think that would put way too much stress on the tip here, where it's going to be more. You're going to get more of that rebound action, where it's going to take a long time for the blank to recover. Uh, fish the one sixteenth ounce inline spinner. Worked perfectly with that. It's a again, it's a nice size. It casted that well. The one uh, eighth ounce jerk bait. Not a great jerk bait rod, just because it's the moderate action, so it's going to take a little bit more force. Um, for you to move the lure the way you want to, just because the blank absorbs a lot of that action that you're trying to give the lure. Um, but again, a 1 8 ounce jig head, I don't know how well this would work with that. Uh, so again, in my opinion, I think this would be a great rod for some smaller lures, smaller jig heads. 1 16th to 1 quarter ounce, I think that's a, that's a little bit overkill. But we're just going to compare these two rods real quick. 
because these are the two panfish around that St. Croix makes. Uh, oop, the legend elite panfish from St. Croix. It's an absolute joy to fish with. They have all their expensive technologies in there. These guides are amazing. They cost uh, about $10, $12 a piece. Uh, they're titanium and torzite. So there is absolutely nothing wrong with this rod. I love fishing it. But for $360 retail, I don't think it does three and a half times as good as this rod. You're not going to get the expensive guides, you're not going to get all their expensive technologies, but if I have to pay for only one of these rods, I'm probably going to go with the $110 Panfish series over the $360 Legend Elite Panfish. Uh, they're both ultralights, but like I mentioned, they're, they're not the same. They're, this rod is a lot stronger even though they're both rated the same. Actually, if you look at the uh, lot, the lure rating, the Panther series, 1 16th to 1 quarter, and this is, again, an ultralight rod, but it is rated for 1 32nd to 3 16ths. So even though they're both ultralight, this rod's rated for a little bit uh, heavier lures, and it's a little bit stronger. I don't have too much fun catching really, really small fish with this. If you hook into a big bass or like a big Mayan, yeah, those put up a little bit of a fight, but for the most part, I think the Panther series is the most enjoyable rod to fish that I have ever fished for, for panfish. This this is an excellent, excellent ultralight rod. If you want something nice, go with the Legend Elite. If you want something that you're going to have a lot of fun catching fish on, I think that's going to be the St. Croix panfish series. So that is going to be my little first impression review after a day of fishing. I have nothing bad to say about this rod. They probably could have used better components, put better technology in it, but they don't need to. Like, I just, it was just so much fun. I had a blast fishing this thing. They could probably charge more money for that, but at that point, what's, what's the point? Great handle, comfortable to hold, had a blast fishing this thing. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Stay tuned for more videos with this rod, because I'm sure I'm going to fish this thing a whole lot more, because it is an absolute blast to fish with. I know I saw that a bunch, but it just is. So, hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.